Today in this video I'm going to show you how to set up or configure a TP-Link router. Step by step, using a computer that is connected to the TP-Link router, open a web browser, such as Safari, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. At the top of the browser is the address bar, type an IP address 192.168.1.1 or also try this IP address 192.168.0.1. Create a new admin password and click let's get started. This is not the Wi-Fi password, this is the password you will use to log into the router. And change the settings, if the need should arise. Enter the password twice, and then click let's get started to proceed. After successfully login, you can click the quick setup, to quickly configure your router. Click next, and then one connection type page will appear. Choose operation mode wireless router and click to next. The router provides auto-detect function and supports three popular ways PPPoE. Dynamic IP and static IP to connect to the internet. If you are sure of what kind of connection type your ISP provides, you can select the very type and click next to go on configuring. In most cases static IP is configured. To configure static IP ISP will give you IP address. With that you have to configure the router through static IP, but I have configured the router with static IP, because the IP address has been given by ISP you can also ask for it your ISP, click on static IP and click the next button, first enter the IP address into the field, the subnet mask is used for the one IP address, it is usually 255.255.255.0, default gateway, enter the gateway IP address into the box if required, Primary DNS, enter the DNS server IP address into the box if required. Secondary DNS if your ISP provides another DNS server, enter it into this field. Click next to continue, the wireless settings page will appear as shown. Enter a network name, SSID, and password. The network name is the name people will search for when they try to connect to your wireless network. The password is what they will need to enter in order to connect to your network. Enter the network name next to network name, SSID, and enter the password next to password, then click next to continue, review the information and click save. The summary page displays all the information you have entered so far. Review the page and make sure the information is correct. Click save when you are ready to continue. After saving your router configuration page, your router setup is complete. Now connect the phone with the Wi-Fi password or check if the internet is running on the Computer you can also set up the router very easily this way. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.